Uh, all right, my talk on the table is the crazy good acclaimed show Yellow Jackets returning for its highly anticipated second season. Part psychological thriller, part survival story, the show takes place in two timelines 25 years apart. In one, a group of mostly teenage girls fights to stay alive after their plane crashes in a remote forest in 1996. And in the other timeline, several of the now adult survivors are haunted by their past and are still trying to escape what happened in that wilderness. Christina Ricci was nominated for an Emmy for playing the adult Misty, a mysterious and manipulative survivor. In the clip you're about to see, Misty searches for her missing friend. Take a look. What happened to the woman in room 135? Let me check my records. You're not doing anything. Huh. Let me try again. Brunette, stunning. Looks like she'd stab you. She's my best friend, and um, she wouldn't have left town without telling me, so something must have happened to her. Something happens to all of us. True. And some of those things can be worse than others, depending on our choices. Larry Frankowski's 65 Union Street Apartment 2B. <laughs> Remind me, Larry, is your social security number 13800-2671, or is it... <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, Larry, go, go. Yellow Jackets is a production of Showtime, which, like CBS, is part of Paramount Global, but it is a darn good show. Christina Ricci joins us now. Christina, thank you very much for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Season one ends with a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. Season two, you get the scripts. What would you think? What were your reactions? And what can people expect? Well, season one was had moments that were very, like, outrageous and shocking, <laughs> for sure. Yes. Daring. And I have to say... The scripts for season two, every time they came in, I mean, I would audibly gasp reading them. Like, it just gets In a crazy. good way? Yes. Like, in a, <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening kind of way. Um, it's even more sort of, like, shocking and crazy and really fun. Do you... Go ahead. No, you've described your character, Misty, as a, a murderous golden retriever. I love it. <laughs> uh, I love that one. <laughs> um, what, what is it about this character that makes it appealing? Well, I really, I loved her as soon as I read, you know, and I only read the one scene she had from the pilot before I signed on. And in it, she is, she abuses an elderly person under her care. And I just was sort of, I've always been sort of very interested by deviant behavior and like the kind of person that feels so small and petty that they have to, mm. you know, they take power in these ways. And Misty is such a fun character because she's always been rejected you know she has no social currency she's not cool she's not hot she's not funny mm. and she's missing sort of this moral compass that everybody else has but somehow it allows her that even through like her isolation and being rejected she just has the most fun she loves chaos <laughs> she never has the same like pathos as anybody else you know she doesn't really understand why everyone feels so ashamed of everything all the time and mm. she just like has a really good time mm. and is wonderfully passive aggressive and it's just fun Sounds like it. Well, you know, this is an all-star cast of women. Yeah. What, what, what does that mean to you? You know, it's really, really wonderful. And we had so many uh, days of shooting where I would look around our green room and it was like five women in their 40s, like playing really complicated, flawed characters. And it was just great to be a part of something like that where, you know, middle-aged women are carrying a lot of it. So hard, hard to see you as middle-aged. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> hard for me, too. I, I feel your pain. Too. But still in your prime, though. That's right. <laughs> Which means we are as well, because I, I remember watching you on The Addams Family yeah. in the 90s. Of where course. you played Wednesday, of shot to stardom as a result. And, and over the career that followed, you played some darker roles. Uh, I got to imagine... Just a few. Just a few. I, I'm, I'm curious what attracts you to those roles. And also, when people come up to you on the street, having played those roles, what are the reactions like? I do. I mean, when I was younger, I had a lot more people, like, coming up and saying, aren't you a witch and all this oh, stuff? Yeah. And I'd be like, no, I just played some unhappy people. <laughs> no. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I've just always been really, I love human behavior. I, I love the complexities. Also, it's fun as an actress to do something different, to do something not every, not that, something you've never seen before, you know? Yeah. Um, to react in unconventional ways as a character. And uh, I, I don't know, I've just always been attracted to stuff that seems a little bit off track. You've been in this business for a long time. Just quickly, for 
young people that are at home and they're thinking about taking the same journey, what would be your advice to them? I would say, I th and I think this is good advice for any kind of artist, um, you know, find the thing that really you, only you can do, mm. the thing that makes you special, even if it's not popular right now, and cultivate that thing that mm. only you can bring, you know? I think there's so much pressure, especially when you're young, to sort of conform and do what's popular. Right. When you find that the people that ultimately really succeed and leave a mark are people who done something completely different. Mm, and that's great have, advice. Yeah, absolutely. And who have mad shoe game. We're shoe twins. I know. We, I saw that. I'm oh, loving it. Shiny. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Christina Ricci, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Appreciate you being here. Thank Season so two much. of Yellow Jackets premieres March 24th on Showtime. And you can see more of Christina Ricci tonight on The Late Show with Stephen oh, wow. Colbert right here on CBS. Yellow Jackets is such a good show.